If you've watched my previous Etsy update videos, you would have noticed that the last couple months I have been struggling with sales and struggling to, my reach has just sort of been dropping. This sort of started in March and then continued through to April, even though I had been listing new products throughout this time. So I decided I wanted to do something about it. And that is where Sale Samurai comes in. I was lucky enough that they reached out to me directly and wanted to partner with me, which came at the absolute perfect time. My first thought when it came to Sale Samurai was that I really wanted to test it out first and make sure that what I was talking about was correct and I wanted some real results to be able to share with you. I didn't want this to be just another video promoting something, I wanted there to be proof behind what I was saying. I decided to experiment and use Sale Samurai to optimize a few of my listings in my shop and spoiler alert, the day after I did this, I made a sale. I'll share my results in more detail at the end of the video, but most importantly for you guys, Sale Samurai were kind enough to offer a discount code for any of you that want to give it a go. If you're interested, just use the code JD Design and you'll receive 20% off. There is also a free trial, so you can give it a go without having to pay anything at all. So whether you're a new or experienced seller, this platform has a lot to offer. Let's dive in and take a closer look at how it works. First, let's talk about the basics of Sale Samurai. This platform offers a range of tools and features to help Etsy sellers research and optimize their listings, as well as create new listings directly through their platform. Some of the key features include a three-day free trial, a Chrome extension for Etsy research, and various calculators to help you make sure your products are like listed at a high enough fee that you're not losing out any money, and to manage Etsy fees. Now you might be wondering like, why do you need a software to help with your Etsy store? Well, the truth is you could have the most amazing product in the world, but if people can't find it, they're not gonna buy it. And this is exactly what I was starting to notice. People just weren't finding my listings and therefore my sales were dropping off as well. By providing accurate data on search volume and related keywords, you can optimize your listings for maximum visibility and sales, but how do you use Sale Samurai to get the most value out of it for your Etsy shop? Let's walk through some of those steps together. So first thing you want to do, obviously, is go to the Sale Samurai website and register for the free trial. Then you can give everything a go and see if you like it before you have to pay anything. Once you're in, you can connect your Etsy shop directly to Sale Samurai so it can pull in all of your shop data. So this is what my homepage looks like as soon as I log in. And this is where you connect your own shop to Sale Samurai. And here you can see it tells you how many listings I have, how many of them are missing tags. So then I can go through and update those listings and make sure that they have them. How many are missing images and the approximate value of my whole store. You then can see each listing directly. And if you click the little eye, you can see everything. You can see the title, the description, where it's like the category it's located in, like everything. It's crazy. So you can see how many I've got in stock, the amount of views it's had, the average monthly views it's getting, how much it costs, when it was last edited, which basic like the last modified basically means when it last sold because it's updated as it's sold because it's had to renew the listing. So that's really helpful later on when you're checking out your competition. My favorite thing, my the absolute favorite thing with this is the tags. It, this pulls in every tag that I have used in my listing and then it shows you whether it's in the title or whether it's in the description. This is one thing I was trying to do was go through these and make sure my titles had the tags in them and made sure the description did as well. I think one of the most important things to do if you're just starting out with this is to go through what you're missing or what your listings are missing and adding them in and making sure they're there and they're sorted and they're good. Next, you're going to want to start researching keywords and like related ideas for products that you might want to sell. And for this, you would use the broad search feature on Sale Samurai. So for example, I sell Notion templates. So we would search Notion template, let it do its thing for a minute. So here we go. So here's all of the details on this keyword. So this is the Etsy search volume, which is reasonably high, I would say, the click-through rate, which is amazingly high. And it will let you know if the competition is like high or low. So there's a green tick for this, which means that it's a pretty good competition. There's a lot of search. There's not a lot of other products in that niche yet. The Google search volume is also quite handy to know because Etsy does push out your listings to Google as well as part of their sort of marketing campaign thingy so you don't get a choice in that like they just do it if it's got a good search volume on google that's also like another good 
it's just another good thing that's going to work in your favor but then down here you can see related keywords or keywords close to what you were searching for with all that same data so here's where you can search for a keyword and then find other keywords that are just as good if the data is good and then use those as well it's a good way to sort of find other keywords to put into your listings that are going to work in your favor there is the same down here i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure the difference between these two because they are pulling up very similar information, but this, the tag side, is the one that I personally was using. And then I would sort of use those and start searching those as well and just seeing which ones were quite high in search and low in competition. The other, like, kind of almost creepy, it's kind of creepy, it's a little bit creepy, they have then pulled in the top listings with that keyword. This product here is getting 70, has had 73,000 views and 2,000 likes, which I'm assuming likes means favorites. If you want to dive deeper into that listing in particular, click that little eye, and it, the, the data we looked at before for our own listing, that is now pulling it up for this listing. What I would recommend doing is going through the top listings in your niche and seeing what keywords they're using, what their titles are like, what their descriptions are like, and figuring out ways that you can use what is clearly working for them and implement it into your own listings. And this is what I was doing for mine, specifically for my Notion template. There was, I think, three or four listings I did this with, and they are the ones that started selling. You can also, looking back at the last modified section that we mentioned before, that means you can see when they last made a sale, most likely. May 7th, that was yesterday for me. So that means it is still selling as well. It's not like an old listing that did do really well, but isn't current anymore. This is showing that it is current. So since October, they've had 73,000 views on this one listing, which is just insane. If we think of that compared to my one just before, it, these are the sorts of things you wanna take on board and use to your advantage. By understanding what's working well for other people that are your competition, technically, you can better amplify your own listings to show up better in search. And you can optimize your listings for like maximum impact. Another thing that's quite cool with Sell Samurai is you can list an item using their listing creator directly through their platform. So you don't even have to log into Etsy. And the best thing about this is there are all these tips down the side that will check off as you complete them with their listings. It's helping make sure that you don't miss anything that you should be doing. So it'll make sure your keywords are in your title. It'll make sure they're in the beginning of your title, that they're in the description, that you've used all of the pictures, that you've used all the tags, etc. And this is just a really handy little, just a little checkbox to make sure you're optimizing everything as best you can. I personally haven't used this yet because I haven't listed any new products since I started using Sale Samurai, which is another good indicator that my products are starting to do better, but I haven't listed anything for two weeks at least. There's also a little competition tracker. So you can like input other stores that are your competition and just sort of keep a little bit of an eye on them. I've put in just a few that sell Notion templates just for as an example. So you can see how many sales they've made, how many listings they have and like how old their store is, which is quite cool to see. Like some, a lot of these are very recent, which kind of makes sense with Notion templates. I feel like that's a very new kind of niche that is just starting to take off. One thing I mentioned earlier was about the calculators. In here, you can put in all of your costs, including like the labor costs, the material costs if you sell physical products, the shipping costs, the ad cost if you're using Etsy ads, the renew fee, shipping, and then it will put in itself the Etsy fees, like the listing transaction fee, etc., and then let you know what your profit is. So that way you can make sure that you are actually offsetting all these costs enough and making a profit without having to manually try find out all these different amounts. So there you have it. That's a little overview of Sale Samurai and how I personally have used it to help improve my Etsy sales and SEO performance. If you're interested in trying out the platform for yourself after seeing this little walkthrough, don't forget to use my code JD Design and you'll get 20% off. I'm gonna quickly now run through some of my stats for you, but that way you can see the real difference that making these changes made for me and my shop. Throughout April, I was noticing that it was looking like it was going to be my worst month on Etsy this year. I'd only had nine sales for the month from the 1st of April to the 24th of April. This is the date that I started tweaking some of my listings using Sale Samurai, changing my keywords, changing my titles, and making sure more of those keywords were in the description. And then between April 27th and April 30th, I made another nine sales. So in three days, we made the same amount of sales that I had made 
so far for that entire month over 24 days. By March 2nd, I then made another four sales from the end of April to March 2nd. So for this month so far, my conversion rate is now 7.8%, which before it was like 1.8%. So that's insane. I personally think these numbers are kind of hard to argue with. It could have just been convenient timing, but since making those changes, my sales have still increased and they are still tracking a lot higher than they had for all of March and April. So do I recommend Sales Samurai? 100%. You've got nothing to lose by giving it a go. Honestly, do the, do the trial, do the three days, optimize some of your listings and see if you really notice a difference. And then if you do, I highly recommend jumping on the platform, fully joining Sales Samurai and using it to make sure all of your future listings are optimized as well. I hope this video was helpful. My next one coming up, I will be doing another Etsy shop update with more statistics broken down for April. So keep an eye out for that and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.